Hello, my name is Dr. Yaya Sisoko. Today we're going to talk about Chapter 5, Elasticity and its Application, the Elasticity of the Man. The, the concept of elasticity allows us to make quantitative observations about the impact of changes in supply and demand on equilibrium prices and quantities. We know that uh, when supply or demand shifted, like we talk about in Chapter 4, we want to know exactly by how much supply and demand are going to shift and what is the impact of that shift on the demand, on the equilibrium price equilibrium quantity. The concept of elasticity will not allow us to determine to determine that. So we begin with the definition of elasticity. Elasticity measures the responsiveness of quantity demanded or quantity supply to a change in one of its determinants. Usually the determinants of supply and demand are prices, income, taste, technology, for instance. So price elasticity of demand tells us how much quantity demanded of a good respond responds to a change in the price of, of that good. So how do you compute price elasticity of demand? To compute a price elasticity of demand, we take the percentage change in quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in the price. For instance, let's use the market of ice cream that we talk about in chapter four. If prices of ice cream increases by 5% and this will lead to a decrease in the quantity of demand of ice cream by 10%. So therefore, the a value of the elasticity will be 10 divided by 5, which is equal to 2. Usually it should be negative 2 by the withdrawal of the minus sign and focus only on the absolute value of the elasticity. We know that by the law of demand, increasing the price will lead to decrease in the quantity demanded. We focus only on the absolute value. So these two mean, mean, mean what that a 1% increase in the price of ice cream will lead to a 2% decrease in the quantity demand of, of, of ice cream. So if, if, if elastic demand means that a quantity demand responds substantially to a change in, in price, this means that usually a demand is elastic, the value of elasticity is, is, is greater than one. In elastic demand, on the other end, quantity demand they respond only slightly to change in the price. Usually, the value of the elasticity, uh, uh, if the value of the elasticity is less than one, then uh, we say that demand is inelastic. So the determinant of price elasticity de depend on availability of closed substitute. Good with closed substitute tend to have a more elastic demand. For instance, laundry detergent or clothing tend to have more elastic demand. Also, necessity good versus luxury good. Necessity good tend to be in elastic demand. Luxury good on the other hand tend to be elastic demand. For instance, uh, uh, the demand for food, which is a necessary good, will be will have an, an elastic demand. The demand for vacation, vacation to Disney World or to Paris, will have an elastic demand. Another determinant of the price elasticity of demand is the definition of a market. Market can be defined narrowly or broadly. Usually, narrowly defined market tend to have more elastic demand. For instance, the market of ice cream will be more elastic demand. On the other hand, the market for food 
will, will tend to have more less elastic demand. On another you know, determinant is time horizon. Usually, demand tend to be more elastic over a long period of time. For instance, uh, uh, over five, 10 years, demand tend to be more elastic. So to compute the price elasticity of demand, the first method can be taking the percentage change in the quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in the price. For, for, and we use the absolute value, we're going to drop the minus sense. For instance, if the price of gasoline increases by 10%, the quantity demand of gasoline will decrease by 5%. Therefore, the value of the CCC will be, you know, five, negative five divided by 10, which is going to be negative half. We drop the minus sign, and it's going to be half. So the value of the city will be half, meaning that a 1% increase in the price of gasoline will reduce uh, the quantity demand of gasoline by half a percent. So, and by the way, because uh, the value of the elasticity is less than one, then we say that uh, the price elasticity of gasoline would be inelastic. So another you know, method to compute the value of uh, price elasticity is the midpoint formula. The use of the midpoint formula will avoid you know, sort of having different value of the, of the elasticity. So you take two points with coordinate, you know, Q1 and P1, and Q2 and P2, then the price elasticity of demand would be, you take the difference of the quantity divided by half of the sum of the quantity, Q2 plus Q1 divided by two. Everything divided by the difference of the price, P2 minus P1, divided by and half of the sum of the price P2 plus P1 divided by 2. So with respect to the variety of demand curve, demand is elastic when the price elastic of demand is greater than 1, meaning that uh, the percentage change in the quantity is greater than the percentage change of the price. Whenever the percentage change in the quantity is greater than the percentage change in the price, then demand will be in elastic. For instance, if uh, the price is, you know, decreases by 15%, quantity demand increases by 25%, then the demand for that good will be a elastic. So demand is in elastic whenever the price elasticity of demand is less than one. So in this case, uh, the percentage change of the quantity is less than the percentage change of, of, of the price. For instance, you know, price increases by, you know, 20% and then the quantity, you know, percent quantity decreases by, you know, 10%. So the demand would be inelastic. So demand as unit 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 as unit elasticity, meaning that uh, you know so the value of the elasticity equal to one. Therefore, the percentage change of the quantity is exactly equal to the percentage change of the price. Say um, pr uh, price is increased by 40%, quantity will decrease by 40%, then the value of the elasticity will be one. 40 divided by 40 will be one. Demand is perfectly inelastic when the price elasticity of demand equal to zero. So in this case, demand curve is going to be vertical. So we meaning that uh, the percentage change in the quantity is exactly equal to zero for any change in the price. Demand is perfectly elastic when the price elasticity of demand is uh, infinity. So in this case, the demand curve is going to be horizontal. So meaning that uh, uh, the, the percentage change of uh, the price equal to zero for any change in the quantity. 
So uh, we can say that the flatter the demand curve, the greater is the elasticity of demand. Figure one summarize the price elasticity of demand in panel A and panel B. Panel A perfectly elastic demand. The value of the elasticity is equal to zero. In this case, if there is an increase of the price from five, four to five dollars, so that increase will leave will leave the quantity demanded and change. So you can see that. The demand curve is vertical, so there is no change in the quantity. Example of this type of demand could be prescription drugs. So you, you, if, if you have a diabetes or high blood pressure, you take the same quantity of medicine every, every, every day. In that case, that uh, regardless of the price, uh, you buy the same quantity, the same quantity of drug. And also every 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 month. On the on the other end, panel B show in elastic demand where the value of the elasticity is less than one. For instance, an increase of uh, a twenty percent increase in the price of uh, of the good lead to the eleven percent decrease in the quantity. In this case. Uh, Demand will be in the last the eleven divided by twenty two equal to half, and which is less than one. So panel C here show unit elasticity demand where the value of the elasticity equal to one. In this situation, an inc a twenty percent increase. In the price of the gold will lead to a 20% decrease in the quantity demanded. And therefore, the value of the elasticity equal to exactly to 1, 22 divided by 22 equal to 1. A 1% 1 increase in the price will lead to a 1% decrease in the quantity. From figure one, you know, we have the price elasticity of demand, panel A, E, and, and panel D, and E. Panel D, elastic, uh, we have an elastic demand where uh, the value of elasticity is greater than one. For instance, uh, a 22% increase in the price of the gold lead to 67% decrease in the quantity demanded. Therefore, the value of the elasticity is 67 divided by 22, that's equal to 3, which is greater than, than 1. In panel E, we have a perfectly elastic demand with the value of the elasticity equal to infinity. So we, see, we can see that we have the horizontal demand curve. So, so at any price above four, quantity demand equal to zero. At exactly four, consumers will buy any quantity. At a price of below four dollars, quantity, quantity demand is uh, infinite. Therefore, the value of the elasticity is infinite because we are dividing by, by zero. In that case, uh, so one example of this type of market is the stock market where the demand is, is horizontal. 